See, this is the star schema. I am going to show you the snowball schema, how it will be there. See guys. So, this is the sales table. This table, table they are going to split in the multiple date dimension. All the week information they are going to store into the week table. Month information they are going to store in the month table. Or quarter information they are going to store into the quarter table. Okay and product information so brand information the, all the related brands they are going to store in a separate product category they are going to separate table like that they are going to split in the depends upon the requirement n number of tables they are going to create it's not a mandatory this many lookup tables you have to create guys based on the your situation based on the your requirement based on the your data this table can be split into multiple tables either it could be one or more than one tables can be split okay it's not a mandatory this many tables you have to split okay n number of tables they can able to split into the based on the requirement okay now if i want to retrieve the data brand information first i have to give the giant between the, these two tables brand and product then product to sales like that earlier will be direct product to sales only join now is going to increase the product to brand also that is a snowflake schema clear guys any doubts here any doubts on the snowflake schema and star schema so what is a star schema it is a mandatory going to ask question guys what is a star schema what is a snowball schema? Star schema is nothing but the one fact table connected with the multiple dimension tables. But the snowball schema is it's an extension of the star schema. So the fact table connected with the dimension table. The dimension tables can be split into n number of dimension tables. The dimension table split into other dimension tables. Here it is going to generate the hierarchy the relationship is going to generate the or one table to another table relationship hierarchy is nothing but the relationship so it's going to generate into the relationship for the dimension tables here hierarchy is going to generate in the snowflake schema from the attributes for the from the dimension tables okay clear guys any doubts so advantages disadvantages will be the star schema we can able to understand easily that is advantages disadvantages will be the query performance is going to decrease because of the huge amount of data is going to store into the dimension tables but come to the snowflake schema so disadvantage will be it's very difficult to understand the schema model so this model is going to difficult to understand and then the cost is going to increase cost and effort is going to increase to build the snowflake schema because of the n number of lookup tables are more here it's going to build the cost and effort is going to increase here okay and advantages will be the query performance is going to increase because of the number of lookup tables are more automatically the query performance is going to increase here the data is going to split here automatically it is going to faster to retrieve the data here okay query performance is going to increase in the snowflake schema but come to the real time real time so 70 percent of the projects is going to use the star schema 70 percent of the tables sorry guys 70% of the projects are going to use the star schema. So, okay, they are going to ask in the interview question. So, which model you are going to follow? Which model, which schema you are going to follow in the your project? Straight away you can say star schema. Then they are going to ask the question, what is the star schema? What is the snowflake schema? So, you have to explain the 
whatever we explain the same way you have to explain in the star schema and the snowball schema clear guys any doubts star schema and the snowball schema so there are other schemas also galaxy schema and then fact consolidation schema so this we are not going to uh, we are not going to follow and also even they won't ask in the questions also so they ask also i don't know you can say directly so i'm not much aware of the those schemas if you want to just go to the what is galaxy schema what is a fact consolidation schema okay so but mainly focus on the these two schemas star schema and snowflake schema you can focus on the these two schemas clear guys so today we discuss about the dimension table what is dimension table what is fact table what is the dimension models what are the dimension models in the data warehousing and the under dimension model what is the star schema what is the snowflake schema so these topics we discuss in the today class any doubts guys up to now any doubts up to now no sir it's clear so so tomorrow we are going to discuss the what is the types of facts the fact table again we are going to discuss the types of facts and types of dimension dimensions types of facts types of dimension and then factless facts okay that topic we are going to discuss in the tomorrow class